Hi, so welcome back to the second uh, video in the series of the Tester Stretta build. As we can see, um, still not got any of the parts for my Thunderbike build, which is a little bit frustrating. Had hoped to get the uh, battery in and get it commissioned today. But I'm just going to push on with the second video in the Tester Stretta build. So in this one we'll be just finishing off the bottom end uh, and then moving on to doing the shim clearances after we put the heads together so we're going to focus on the vertical head today um, hope you enjoy the video and uh, see you next week when we hopefully can commission the Thunderbolt okay let's get on with this video okay next step in the engine build is to stick our engine bolts in which will hold the cylinders on these usually have an O seal in the base of them to seal for the cylinders and the, where the studs go through and it's long thread down with the upper thread for where the head nut goes at the top end. Let's get all of those in now. Okay, so all eight cylinders and head studs have been placed in. These are tightened down to 25 newton meters, and you just see I used the double lock nut method. And then the O seal that goes at the bottom to seal the cylinders. You don't have these on the earlier engines, but the key pieces to remember as you put them over, you want to sort of protect the thread so you don't damage those. Okay, so this is the bottom end completed now I didn't show you putting the timing pulleys on because I've done that on the other engine videos and it's just a bit repetitive what we're going to do now is prepare the test straight heads um, and then once we've got those done we'll stick everything together and show you how that's done okay so putting this head together from scratch we've got a collection of parts head has been all cleaned valve guides have been uh, seals have been stripped out all we got to do first in this process then is we're going to lap in the intake and exhaust valves, give us a known position, then I'll build up the head. We'll do a set of shim readings and then once the head's together I'll talk you through the difference between a Desmo Quattro head and a Testa Stretta head. As you can see one of the key pieces is that you can get full access to the top of the head to be able to easily work on this and replace components and do your shim readings etc. You'll also notice that it's journal type bearings, so there's no um, bearings for the camshafts like there are in a Desmo Quattro head, so no roller bearings or anything like that. So it's a bit more traditional type build. So let's get on with doing the lapping of these valves. So both inlet and exhaust valves have been lapped in, so we've got a good face on those. Nice even face all the way around on the exhaust valves as well. Okay, so it's now a case of building up these heads. So first step would be put new valve seals in and then get the all of the followers and everything in place and start building up to get to a point where we can start measuring the shim thickness. Lined up all the parts ready to go into this Tester Stratter head and you can see they're a lot different to the stuff that I've used on Desma Quattro heads before. So we've got the opening arm which is a direct drive arm and then the closing arm. There's matched pairs okay 
and then the pins that hold them in have got little indents at the back one two three just in there and four they're all slightly different lengths as they go through in and they go from the intake side to the exhaust okay so you need to bear that in mind when you're putting your engine together so it goes one two three four and then same on the other side as well it goes one two three four so and that works as opening arm closing arm closing arm opening arm so we see we've got the new valve seals in there so let's just start putting this head together now Okay, so we've got the head together in a date and position. So freshly lapped valves, stuck in the arms, both closing and opening, and then a set of datum cams. What we've got in there is the shims that were originally fitted on the head, so we don't know what position these are in, so we've got to take a set of readings. The difference between this and the Desma Quattro head is you don't have to do any fancy calculations to work out your loaded and unloaded gaps. You just need to take a straight reading of the closing clearance, opening clearance, opening, closing, closing, opening, opening, closing, and that will give you a full set of clearances. All right, let's take a set of clearance readings. So that's the first set of uh, readings done. So we're on the vertical head. You'll remember a similar form to this when I did the Desmo Quattro head. The difference is, is there's no loaded or unloaded gaps on here. So you just measure the gaps as we stated beforehand. So where I've dropped these um, uh, datum shims in, you'll see that we've got no clearance at all on the two openers on the intakes got huge clearances on the closers for the intakes and then we're not too badly off on the exhaust side so the openers one's just over spec one's below spec and then the closers are both over spec so what we need to do then is we need to strip the head apart and measure our shims up. I'm not going to show you how we measure the shims because we've done that before, but what I will do is show you how we strip the head down. 
and then I'll stick in all these readings and we'll come back to this after I've got all of the chims measured and we'll see what we need to stick in. Okay, let's get on with that now then. Okay, so I've measured up all of the shims, um, and this is where we're currently at. So the ones where we had no clearance, I'm going to have to go to slightly smaller opening shims. So I'm going from a 2.85 to a 2.75, and from a 2.6 I'm going to go to a 2.48, only because that's the one I've got. Um, if I had a 2.5 I'd stick that in. Where we've got too much clearance, we're going to have to up the shim size. So on the closes, we're going to go from a 3.2 to a 3.46, and from a 3.25 to a 3.7. And then we weren't too badly off on the exhaust, so I'm going to leave the left-hand exhaust opener as is. I'm going to change the size to a slightly looser opener on the right-hand side, so we can have 0.1. So we're going to go from a 2.86 to a 2.76 and then just some marginal changes just to tighten up slightly on the exhaust closes so we're going to go from a 3.37 to a 3.45 and from a 3.25 to a point uh, to a 3.0 okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and put the head all back together i'm not going to refilm that because it's just a repeat of what we've done earlier with the filming and I'll check the readings and just show you those once done. Okay, so I'm gonna stick the head back together now. Okay, so final set of clearances have just been done and we are near as damn it. So um, the owner's happy with the clearances that we've got. The, the one that is slightly too big really still is the left exhaust closer, but we had a bit of a play around and couldn't get the right shim size and he didn't want to wait for the next one to come in and it's just just slightly outside spec so he's prepared to accept that you know it's um the maximum should be 0 0.05 but you've got a service limit of 0.2 and he's happy to do that because he'll he'll reveal it at the end of the season anyway and we might do a mid-season refresh so that's the vertical head done we've just got to now repeat that whole exercise for the horizontal head um, having done the vertical so I'm not going to bother filming that process because you've seen it for the vertical head and it's just a repetition of that so having having done this all the work to the vertical head we're going to crack on with a horizontal head we'll see you again when we go to put the top end of the engine together so when we put the pistons and cylinders uh, and then the heads back together so until then Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, chuck us a like. Um, if you've got any questions or comments again about the clearance process, then feel free to ask them down below. And if you're not a subscriber, we would really welcome you as a subscriber to the channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers now, bye.